During my research, I came across Rife Flower Shampoo and I was intrigued to learn how to use it on my 4C hair. Rye is a grass that is grown as a grain. It's used for flour, bread, beer, some whiskeys, and in animal feed. Rye flour has a natural pH of 5.5, which makes rye flower shampoo great for the scalp. Making rye flower shampoo only requires two ingredients, distilled water and either light or dark rye flour. First, measure two tablespoons of rye flour into a heat resistant container. My measurements might look a bit different because I'm making a batch for the whole family. Light flour would make the process of making the shampoo easier. However, if you're using dark rye flour like I am, then I would recommend sifting out as much of the bran as you can before making the shampoo. This next step is optional. I added two teaspoons of orris root powder. Orris root powder is used to promote healthy, manageable, and shiny hair. Next, bring two cups of distilled water to a boil. Once the water has boiled, add it to the rye flour. I found that it helped to break up the clumps with a stick blender before adding all of the water. When all of the water has been added, allow the mixture to cool. Once the infusion has cooled, use a cheese or muslin cloth and or a coffee filter to remove any additional bran from the infusion. The great thing about this natural shampoo is that it can be easily combined with other herbs to boost its cleansing and medicinal effects. Orris root, lavender, or even lemongrass are just a few herbs that can be added to aid scalp and hair health. This shampoo is really easy to use and can be applied to your hair in the same way that you would apply a tea rinse. It's important to note that rye flower shampoo doesn't create suds like soap or shampoo. As a result, the shampoo may not be favorable to those who prefer to see a lot of suds when they wash their hair. Since the shampoo is a mild cleanser, you might find it better to use it on hair that doesn't have a lot of product or buildup. I personally like to leave the shampoo on my hair for a few minutes before rinsing thoroughly with lukewarm water. I have to admit, I was a bit disappointed when I first tried the shampoo. My hair felt clean, but a bit dry. It's similar to the feeling I get when I leave a clay mask on for too long. It was definitely different than my soap wart root shampoo experience. I didn't follow up the shampoo with a rinse out conditioner, but I did maintain my usual moisturizing routine. As the week progressed, I noticed that my hair kept getting softer and softer. By the end of the week, my hair felt so soft and fluffy that I felt disappointed that wash day had rolled around again. I was really impressed. Hit the notification button to see which herb I used next and to view my results at the end of the three month protective style challenge. <laughs>